this is unbelievable find. Look at that cute little face. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. The carnivorous predator. I'm showing you every animal on the planet. Come on, let's go. This is just an absolute giant, the largest of all the conifers in Australia. I'm going to head down through the rainforest in search of geckos. There's two particular species that inhabit this rainforest. The first one is the chameleon gecko, which will be spending his time on the forest floor. And the other one spends his time on the trunks of the trees. He's called the leaf-tailed gecko. This is a slaty grey, non-venomous, notoriously bitey. They emit this kind of odour from their glands, which they do in order to deter a potential predator. And right now, I definitely don't want to be holding this snake too long because I'll be really, really smelly. Amazing active predator at night. Be eating lizards and also reptile eggs. All right, we're going to let this one go and keep on our hunt for geckos. And off you go. Happy hunting. that sleeping bird. So that's quite unusual actually. I mean you'd think you'd be able to see sleeping birds all the time. That's quite low in the canopy there. A golden whistler. Gecko. Yes. Wow this is unbelievable find. A lifetime goal to see one of these geckos out in the wild. This is called the chameleon gecko. There's no other gecko species in their genus. They are totally unique here in Australia, living just up here in the highland rainforests. Look at that cute little face. There's something amazing about those eyelids. They're kind of crinkled and it gives them this kind of prehistoric dinosaur look about them. And of course, look at that tail. Those four white bands. Like all geckos, this gecko loses its tail. But unlike any other gecko in the world, this one has an incredible tactic to actually deter the predator from finding and eating the main part of its body. When this tail drops off, and it makes a squeaking sound. That squeaking sound sounds like a squealing injured mammal. And he's opening that mouth and saying, I'm going to bite you. Do you want to bite me? Yes, he's got me. <laughs> OK, that's enough. Again, I'm going to let you go so you can get off hunting and we can continue on our search for another gecko species, the northern leaf-tailed gecko. So now we've seen our chameleon gecko. The strategy to find the leaf-tailed gecko is to look on the branches and main trunks of these trees where they always sit very, very well camouflaged. Gecko, we got him, wow! That is an absolute beast of a gecko, yes. Now you can see exactly why they're called the leaf-tailed gecko. The patterning, the shape and coloration of that tail, it's just like a leaf, a dead leaf. Most geckos, if you get this close to them, completely wild gecko, they would be scared and they would jump off. But because this gecko is so incredibly well camouflaged, their first response is not jump off because that would give them away. Where this gecko has the most expert colorations and patterning and shapes that he just cannot possibly believe that anybody will be able to spot him and see him. So his strategy is to remain absolutely perfectly still. They have incredible eyesight, like all geckos, a lot of capillaries in those eyes. He's got a massive gob on him as well, which he uses, like lots of the geckos, to be able to crunch through invertebrate prey. The beetle that will be coming, scurrying up this tree trunk, having no idea there's a gecko there. Boom, you'll get him. And often you'll see cockroaches crawling around on the tree trunk, and that'll be probably one of his favorite meals. Even though he's just staying still, I've got to, absolutely got to hold him because I've just got to see what that texture feels like with my hands. Wow, wow. Unbelievable. Ow! Really sharp claws. Ooh! <laughs> Looks like a crocodile. I mean, if you just literally grab this out of the water, you'd think you've got a crocodile on your hands. <laughs> you really would. But it's that tail that is just completely insane. How on earth has evolution created this? Look at that.
We've seen camouflage in its most extreme forms in the rainforest, and this is up there, to almost one of the, the best forms of camouflage I've seen in the animal kingdom. Love you, really love you. Two incredible geckos on exactly the same night, the chameleon gecko and the northern leaf-tailed gecko. Yes, good luck, happy hunting, see you later.